that Rivian looks pretty good. me to add um, my payment method which we already did mm -hmm. and then but it didn't like your payment method your right. card so then we tried another one yeah and it's still not oh, accepting now they're talking to my car okay make sure my connector's plugged in connecting to your vehicle connecting come Ooh. on Jareth <laughs> Oh, is it gonna start? It's gonna start. Okay, so th the reason we're here is because uh, Rivian made uh, an over-the-air update. And with the update, now we should be able to get closer to the 200 kilowatt charging speeds that this truck should be able to get. So, oh, look at that. 180. 200 202 Session details Does it say info? Let me see What else does it say? No, return Session details Alright, look at that 494 amps at 412 volts that if you multiply that by that that's 203,000 watts 204 kilowatts uh it's already put 3.4 kilowatts in the span of just a few seconds uh, not even a minute yet state of charge is 22 percent so yeah our battery is pretty uh well, it's depleted, right? It's, uh, it's yeah, it's below one quarter. And that's, I think, what's what you need because this will ramp down pretty quick. I don't know when. I guess we will see right now. Let's go inside and check it out on the car. So our said charge limit, it's set to daily, 70%, and it's at 24 and it's still going at 206 kilowatts. And this is put three. So ends in 16 minutes. 27 minutes. Just kidding. Oh, how did that jump like that? Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically this is the fastest this truck can charge because it's five. Well, it's the fastest that those stations can put out because they can put out 500 amps. And look, it's at 495 and it's a 419 volts. So I think the only limiting factor here now uh, and where it's going to ramp down is in the truck that all the equipment in the truck gets uh, starts heating up, I guess. How long has this been going on? Does it tell you the session? Over there, it doesn't say, right? How long it's been charging? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Three minutes duration. Three minutes. So let's see when the fans start screaming and saying, hey. There we go. Okay, so then at four minutes, it stopped charging. And it says, stop by the station. And it says, thank you. Your charging session is now complete. Please return the connector to its holster. Now, the question is, why did it do that? Why did it charge to 31% and then uh, it just kicked us out now? Well, that sucks. And the little thing is red here. So what is it? What is it? Why? There's absolutely gives us no reason. It doesn't say why it stopped charging. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Final state of charge. Thank you. 
Your charging station is not complete. Please return the connector to What? Why wouldn't it let me charge above 32%? Okay, okay, let's try it a third time. Connecting to my vehicle, it's authorizing. Okay, thank you, so it got my card, I think. The Rivian's fans have started, I don't know why, because it's not even charging. Connecting to your vehicle. Okay. And once again, it charged me 26 cents. State of charge, final state of charge. Duration is zero. It just will not charge. So it is not complete somehow. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so now we've moved to the next station to see if this one will charge past four minutes. Uh, this is the crazy thing. Imagine if you were to pull up here and start charging, start your charging session, and then you go, you walk over there by the Italian restaurant over there, and then half, you know, five minutes into your charging, you're like, oh, guess what? The car's not charging anymore. I have to walk over there again and try to figure it out. Like, this is... It's pretty crazy. That this, for no reason, it just disconnects. Because, by the way, this is not the first time EVgo has disconnected us. Uh, the first time... This is the second time that we're trying to charge here. It is disconnected us. The first time it did, and then this second time it has also. So, um, I don't know what EVgo... It says... Oh, it didn't, it didn't do it, right? So, yeah, this time it accepted the car I had saved on here. Look, it's the same message. It just said it's complete. It charged me 26, 26 cents. cents. It keeps charging us 26 cents, but it won't start. Well, the first session was 9.25. Okay. Oh, wow. For six ten, minutes. 10 bucks. And it wasn't even six minutes. It was less. It was four minutes. I was literally looking at the thing. Okay, so let's try it again. How many times are we gonna try it? How I didn't touch anything times? on the app to make it stop. No, 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 this is nothing that we're doing. This is, the, it, the car says the station stop, right? Stop yeah. the session. Okay. And with well, it that. sure knows how to charge my card. <laughs> it doesn't charge my truck. <laughs> it charges your card, but it doesn't charge your truck. Yep. Look at that old wheel plug-in. Oh, there's two more over there. Okay. I was gonna say, we've got one more to try. So there's this one right here, and then there's two more over there. And there's so the a... app is telling me, like, it's it already charged my car, and it says connecting to your vehicle. Look at... But then it just goes to that. So it just refuses to charge our truck past 32% state of charge. Now, that's... Hamish. You're charging... Okay, now it's talking to the car. Didn't... They're able to start charging. Make sure that your vehicle's turned off and it's parked. Check out the Help Center for more tips with charging errors. If you continue to receive this message, please report an issue using the Help and Support link at the bottom of the site page or within the Help Center. Try again or call customer service. Okay. I love waiting at home. All right, so I'm trying to charge with this third station here, but this one won't accept any of my cards. When I put the credit cards in here, it says card error. So I guess we're gonna need to try and do the account. 
Okay, so this third station here is just just refusing to accept my card. She hung up? Yeah, so, but I keep getting the notifications. They keep charging me $30. Now, there's two $30 charges. I don't know if it's because uh, it's through the app and it's just crediting at us and then you'll use that to charge or it's every time that I'm actually putting the card here, it charges us $30, even though it doesn't actually charge. It just says card error. But we tried calling uh, customer service and apparently uh, they hung up on us. <laughs> so, so no luck so far. We got uh, four minutes of charge and that's about it from this station, from this EVgo station. I guess we could try this. Uh, no, we can't. This one is being, uh, the, this Kia right here is charging. Or I don't think it's charging, but there we go. All right, so Crystal is on the phone with them and they instructed us to connect the car. And now since that it's starting remotely, they seem to have started a session. Connecting to your vehicle. So let's see if this works. Look at that, it started charging. Okay. So there we go again. It's starting. 95, 100 kilowatts. At 32%. Okay, it looks like it's gonna reach full speed. 199 200 there we go 200 kilowatts state of charge starting at 32 and now it's 33 so if we click details yeah there we go So 479 amps at 421 volts. But it's still holding 200 kilowatts. And it seems like it's going pass. Now I hear the fans on the station, but I don't hear, I don't hear fans from the truck yet. Of course, it's only been, well, one minute, one minute. So, okay, so maybe calling customer service seems to have worked this time around. And by the way, uh, about, I don't know, 30 feet away from those are these boxes, which I... Uh, probably, I would say that this is where the actual charges are at, and those are just the stations, just like Tesla. Because you can hear the fans starting to go here, probably because, uh, yeah, our radiant is charging over there. And here are the transformers. Right? There's a big transformer right here, and then this is probably... Uh, I don't know, this is like probably just a panel. Oh yeah, here are the two transformers. All right, and at minute three, now the fans have started. The fans have started, but it's still doing 205 kilowatts, so it's pretty good. Okay, so now we are in minute 13, and now it's throttling down to 300 amps. At 437 volts, uh, and so it's putting 135 kilowatts. Now it's still pretty fast, but uh, what are what's our state of charge? Our state of charge is 58 percent. So yeah, only from about you know 10. I don't know. I mean, we started at 24 percent or something like that. So only that second quarter, right? If you divide the battery into four parts. 
I think you can get 200 kilowatts only from like the second quarter to the, from the first quarter to the second quarter, right? Which is from, yeah, from a quarter to half battery. And we're now just past half battery and it's starting to taper off. Does it say how long it's going to take to charge at this current speed? Where does it say that? Ends in six minutes. Okay, so according to this, it's supposed to end in six minutes. All right, so we got three minutes to go. Oh, ends in one minute because it's going to reach 70%, which is our limit. Now, what would happen if we were to extend that and put it to 85 with that? Oh, and by the way, so now it's charging at 100 kilowatts. So it's slowed down quite a bit. Now, if we change that to extend it, right? Let's see. Will that make... Okay, so it's changing the time. Okay, so it changed the duration of charge but it didn't ch change the speed at which it's charging. So that speed is, oh, it looked, in fact, it, it went down. So that is being throttled by something else. It has nothing to do with this range thing here. Uh, it's not, at a car setting, it is, uh, you know, some hardware, probably hardware limitation, basically. We changed it back to daily. And now it's gonna end in one minute. So let's see how it terminates. Does it, does it tell you? Okay, ends in zero minutes. Boom, that's it. So the car stopped the charging and now we're done. Let's go, we put in 55 kilowatts. So there we go. All right, so now there you go. You can charge at full power 200, eh, we saw somewhere like 206, 207 kilowatt hours uh, charging speeds on this guy uh, after the update, over the air update, right? So there we go. Good news for us. Quiet dogs. Quiet, guys.